Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add Bootstrap 4 to our theme and see how we can change the design. If you are watching this video until here, you have passed the difficult part. The last two or three videos were a little tough because it was the configuration and it takes a lot of time to configure and understand. If you pass it, things will get a lot easier after this. So after this, we are going to focus on designing our theme and adding more feature and then you will have your own theme in the next few videos. So let's start. Before I start, this video is sponsored to you by MindArc. They are a top leading agency in Sydney and they build highly premium custom built uh, e-com solution with Magento and Shopify. So if you want to check out their website, you can see mindarc.com.au. So let's start uh, adding Bootstrap 4 to our website. This is the Bootstrap 4 and all we have to do is we have to install it with NPM. We did most of the configuration in the previous video. If you haven't, just please watch the previous video. I will open another comment. As you can see, in the first window of the terminal, I have two windows split open. You can press uh, Alt F5, uh, Control F, Control 5, or any other shortcut. If you have, it will split it for you. If you check out this one, Control Shift 5, it will split it for you. And here, the team watch is running, and for this one, I have the comment of npm run watch which is watching for any changes in the source directory. I'll switch back to the second terminal to install bootstrap. So I'll paste the comment and boom it should install it in a few seconds and it will add it to our package.json. So after it is done, it is in our node, node module directory. All you have to do is add the CSS to your SAS file here. I'll open the source, SAS folder, uh, CSS folder and then app.scss. Here, I will remove the background of red because we don't need this one and I will paste this snippet here. This is how you can import it. This tilde here refer to the node module here and then it will go to the bootstrap folder and it will go to the scss and then it will take the bootstrap.scss. You don't have to specify the dot sas uh, extension here because it will import everything for you. I will save it for now and if you check out my compiler should compile it down and it should upload this stuff here also so yeah it is compiling it will take a few seconds because this is the first time but next time it should not take much time it did compile successfully now my theme watch should upload it in our theme as you can see it is processing and it should upload it is a little slow for me here it should be fine if i come to my theme here currently if i refresh my page let's see if we see any changes here nothing changed it is because we have not included our css yet i will show you how if i open the source code and search for the app.css we don't have that file if you don't have it it means you didn't include it in your theme the same way we did in the previous video i will come to the layout theme which is the master template here and i will let's say close the terminal here and this is the css one we did here you can do the same thing for style except we will add it above the document here you can add it let's say this is the head and after the head you can include it here this is how it works but this one should be css or this should be app dot css not dot js also this one should not be a script tag it should be a style sheet tag so one pipe here that's it if i save it for now and it should upload my theme that liquid to the server yes it did and this time if i check it out refresh it again this time search for app that css here you go you have it here let's refresh our page and see if we have any changes if you have added bootstrap of course the font will change yes the font has changed and now you have bootstrap here you want to see how it affects let's add a little design to this search button here if you have used bootstrap you know how you can add those designs here so it should be easy for you if you add any class to this one and it should take effect i will pick this one let's say this is our button and it has the button class i will change the class to btn btn hyphen primary enter it here you go we have your bootstrap and everything should work fine the container class and everything here you have a error here let's fix this error also it says like this assets was not found right so where we added this one 
if you have this type of issue just grab this name here you can come to your team here search for it and it says you have included here but it is it does not exist because we removed that in the previous video i can remove that for now you can save it and i will come back to check where this error is coming it is not in the body it is probably in the head of our website so if i refresh this time it should not show us this error yeah that error was removed this time the script is remaining so which one is the script one again you will search for the script one here you go i'll remove it because we do not need them it was already there based on the slate theme that we have generated so if this time i refresh it do not refresh it too quick because it cannot upload it too fast let's see if we are not making any mistakes yeah it did upload this so if you refresh it you should not see it again it is fine now everything looks good now we have bootstrap all you have to do is add those design to our navigation and seeing the navigation like bootstrap here that is what we do in the next video we'll design the navigation firstly so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video